Shannon Gonter here with Therapy by Shannon, and today we're going to focus on the fact that you cannot control anyone else except for yourself. It's a hard concept to grasp. Um, kind of like, have you ever found yourself getting upset or angry or frustrated um, by like other people's thoughts or behaviors? If you answered yes, well, guess you're alone on that one because no one else in this world does. So good luck in dealing with that. End of the video. Okay, thanks. Bye. Just kidding. <laughs> I and everyone else in humanity are right there with you. It is impossible, like literally impossible, to not notice the actions of others around you. So your friends, your family, your coworkers, your acquaintances, even strangers online. Um, it really makes it highly difficult to separate those actions from yourself when those behaviors really trigger you. Um, so, I mean, I honestly even get annoyed of people's behaviors that I don't even know, just like seeing certain things online or um, like a friends of a friend's posts. I really like cringe over certain actions and so desperately want to like get a hold of their lives and whip them into shape, but that's not how life works. Um, the fact is that you only have control over your thoughts and your behaviors and your emotions. Um, this concept has honestly been drilled into us since we were super young, but that doesn't really mean that we were appropriately taught how to integrate this into our adult lives. Um, so personally, um, in my childhood, I was told over and over and over again by my parents that, you know, they're looking for a reaction. If you just don't react, they're going to stop picking on you. But let's be serious here. What eight-year-old or let alone 28-year-old understands that logic and has the self-control to put that into action? So another thing um, that is kind of highly connected to this idea is that we can influence others' behaviors and thoughts and emotions based off of our responses and our reactions. And honestly, this is a concept that I did not catch on to until I was um, a young adult and is honestly something that I still have to remind myself over and over again. Um, I really have to continuously hold myself accountable and remind myself to focus on me and not the actions of others. Um, so in order to do this, I, I've kind of figured out some tips that have kind of helped me along the way to remember this, and I'm gonna share those tips with you. So tip number one, um, you wanna kind of make changes in your own life uh, that helps, gives you perspective on the people around you. So when you come to terms with this like really inconvenient truth that you cannot change others, you can then explore like how you feel about the other people that you allow in your life. So like, is this someone that you need in your life? Does it, this relationship benefit your life? Um, are you only having this relationship in your life because you've known them for so long or because they have a lot of money or because they have this like powerful holding over you? Um, when you start asking yourself these questions, you can kind of start expecting more of yourself and therefore you start expecting more from the people that you have in your life. Um, this does take time and this is not going to happen overnight, but I, I have seen through like my personal growth through wellness and through the work that I do with my clients that the personal progress leads to heightened levels of confidence that then creates like more rewarding relationships down the road. And so the simple fact is like when you do get to know yourself better, you are going to get better at deciding like who should you trust and who should you surround yourself with. Um, so tip number two, moving forward, um, like in your own growth demonstrates to others that change is possible and can be inspirational. So like new hope and curiosity can be sparked in those around you when um, they kind of see the hard work and the time that you're putting into your emotional needs. And from my experience and with the clients that I work with, I've witnessed this change in, it does usually inspire um, others in their life to do the same. This obviously is no guarantee. So <laughs> Don't come back to me when your partner doesn't change their behavior after, you know, you've spent like months and months uh, working on your end of things. Um, but, but just know that your motivation to move forward on your path to personal growth should not be fueled by wanting other people to change. And if it is, then you should probably check in on yourself because changes made um, for others are usually only short-lived. Um, so tip number three. Uh, you really, you really, 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 really must be compassionate with yourself and be realistic in the expectations that you set for yourself. So you really want to be patient with yourself. You want to remember that this is a, you know, a marathon and not a race. You have lived a certain way for decades and it's going to take more than reading, you know, one blog or watching this video or reading several blogs to make those changes set in for real suggestion um, during this time is to start small and honor the moments when you do achieve 
one of your baby goals and, and maybe um, it's setting an appropriate boundary and sticking with it, possibly with your friend that you will not you know, lend them money anymore each month. Um, or maybe with your mom that you don't need to tell her every little part of your day that happened throughout you know, the day and that maybe you'll just have like a weekly phone call to update each other on what's going on. Um, but in general, the kind of the major takeaway is that though other people might not be ready for change and cannot be forced to change, um, and they may be kind of more comfortable if, if you would just kind of stay the same, um, because like when we stay the same and we stay stagnant, it kind of makes them feel more comfortable with not changing. Um, you've just really got to remember to focus on yourself and get on the path to wellness. And it's really there that you're going to find um, ways to inspire yourself and honor the counseling process and, and maybe even encourage others on that path. But the most important thing is to remember ourselves um, and to take control of our emotions, our behaviors, and our thoughts. And then hopefully that's a ripple effect that happens down the road. But thank you, thank you for listening. I have a variety of other topics um, focused on mental health and self-care that you can find on my website at www.therapybot.com. Um, and then I also am present on Instagram and Facebook if you want to check me out there at Therapy by Shannon. Thanks.